Why are you hanging around on my land? Whose side are you on? The rebelling farmers or the king? I'm for the peasants. Huh. <laughs> that damned warmonger own will drag us all into the grave. What do you think? How long will the paladins just stand by? After what Onar has done, the whole city is in an uproar. What's going on here anyway? Don't you know what's going on? Boy, where are you from? We're on the edge of a civil war. Up till now, all the farmers looked at the tribute to the city as fair taxation. But since the paladins have come to Corinnus, the city guards visit us more and more often. And little by little, they're taking everything. If it goes on like this, soon we won't have anything left for ourselves. Some farmers are starting to rebel. Onar was the first of them. What about you? Whose side are you on? Peasants or king? I'm too close to the city to really have a choice. But I'm glad about that. I wouldn't know how to decide. The king is bleeding us dry. And Onar sets his mercenaries on anyone who won't join him. Well, that's why most of the other farmers are still undecided. But sooner or later, they'll have to choose one side or the other. Tell me more about this Onar. Onar is the biggest farmer here in the area. He is broken with the city. They say he's hired mercenaries to keep the city guard off his back. Can't blame him. In any case, no royal soldier dares to set foot on his farm anymore. Who are those mercenaries that Onar hired? I don't know much about the guys. Supposedly, a lot of them are former prisoners from the mining colony. Everybody knows what you can expect from them. I need some sensible clothes. I can give you clean farmer's work clothes. Can you pay for them then? Well, you could work off part of the price if you're someone who's looking for work. How much for the work clothes? Well, we'll see. 70 gold pieces. Well, that's still too expensive. Well, suit yourself. I'm looking for work. I can't use another farm hand, but I could offer some work to a day laborer. Well, what I mean is, you can lend a hand in the field, and there are certainly a few other things to do around here. I could pay you with gold, or give you a few decent things to wear. The things are worth a fair bit. I can't give them to you for nothing, but I can sell them to you cheap if you work for me. By the looks of you, I should say, take the clothes. Anyway, the small turnip field next to the barn needs to be harvested. I'm supposed to pull turnips? You gotta be kidding. Real man's work isn't for such a fine gentleman, huh? Get out into the field, or get off my farm. Have you got anything else for me to do? First get the turnips in from the field. Then we'll see. Here are your turnips. Hey, you're not all that worthless after all. Take them to my wife in the house. And tell her to cook them. What about my pay? I can give you five gold pieces, or sell you the clothes cheaper. Well, what's it to be? Make me a better price for the togs. Good. I'll give them to you for ten gold pieces less. 
How much for the work clothes? Well, we'll see. You've worked the field for me? 60 gold pieces. Well, that's to well, suit yourself. Have you got anything else for me to do? I don't. You can ask my wife or the boys in the fields. Maybe they need some help. Hey, you! I've got a few turnips here for you. Great. That should be enough to fatten those guys up. Since you're here anyway, I saw a traveling trader pass by here a few minutes ago. I think he stopped on his way to town. Go to him and see whether he's got a decent frying pan for me. Can you give me something to eat? Here, take this. You're a good lad. Give me the gold, and I'll go see the merchant for you. Are you saying I can trust you? Just don't spend the money on booze, do you hear? Who do we have here? You're on your way to the city. Am I not right? Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> you look like a fugitive. All fugitives are headed for the city. You could even be a former convict for the mining colony. I don't care where you come from, but I believe I have an interesting offer for you. What do you have to offer? The way you look, the guards will never let you into the city. I can help you get into the city. I have here a small piece of paper with the royal seal and the governor's signature. A pass. With this scrap of paper in your pocket, you can run about as raggedly as you please, and the guards will leave you alone. Interested? There must be a catch to this. No, no catch. You will merely owe me a favor. How will you get into town? The guards know me. I will simply tell them that I have lost my pass. What do you want for your pass? I knew you were the right man. Listen, you will get the pass from me now. Just like that? Just so. But if I meet you in the city, you owe me a favor. Do we have a deal? Sure, give me that paper. Here. Be careful with that. It is very valuable. But one more thing. Don't even think about breaking your word. As a merchant, I have a great deal of influence in the city. And it wouldn't go well for you. Believe me. Show me your wares. Take your pick. I've got to go. Suit yourself.
Here's your frying pan. Fine. Let's see, then, whether it's any good. Can you give me something to eat? You've had your portion for today. Come back later. Have you got any? I don't. You can ask my wife. How much for the work clothes? Well, we'll see. You work the field for me. You help my wife. Fifty gold pieces. Well, I'll suit you. Stranger, I saw how you came out of the mountains. You can be glad you didn't come by here three weeks ago. We would have taken you for an escaped convict, and we made short work of those. You look completely done in. What do you want here? I was attacked by bandits in the mountains. Those filthy rabble. They were probably the same bastards who took one of our sheep last night. You had terrific luck. Most people don't get away alive. Those bandits won't trouble you anymore. Why? Are they dead? They picked a fight with the wrong guy. Thank Innos. Here, it isn't much, but I want you to have it. I'll tell the others about this. I'm on my way to town. The way you look, you'll have to bribe the guys to get in. And you have to know what they want to hear. And that would be? Well, for example, that you're from Lobart's farm and want to go to the smith in the city. But that won't do you any good. You don't look like a farmer. I see. I need better equipment. I can imagine. But I tell you right now, we don't have anything to give away. If you can pay for what you want, Lobart will sell you something. Otherwise, go to him and ask him if he has work for you. Where can I find Lobart? Well, on the farm, of course. The farm belongs to him. And don't try messing with him. He's thrashed a lot of tramps and thrown them off his farm. There's another of those scummy beasts. Well done! One dirty beast led! How much for the work clothes? Well, we'll see. You've worked the field for me. You helped my wife. Malif said you chased the bandits off. Bastards have caused us a lot of trouble. Thanks to you, we're rid of them. Forty gold pieces. Well, that's still... Well, suit yourself. And how goes the work? Well, same as always. Lot to do, not enough money, and with a bit of bad luck, the orcs will come tomorrow and burn down our farm. The king's paladins have occupied the whole city, but I can hardly believe they'll move their butts out here when the orcs attack us. I'm headed for town. And? Is there anything interesting you can tell me about the city? Nope. But Malif goes to the city from time to time. Maybe he knows something. I mean, something that would interest you. Is there any interesting news? I could have sworn I saw an orc over there on the edge of the woods two days ago. 
Since then, I've kept at least one eye open at night. Can I help you? I'm looking for work. Do you know anything about working in the fields? What is there to know? Ah, in that case, I think we're fine here. Thank you. If you want to work for Lobart as a day laborer, I can only warn you, he pays people like you really miserable. He offered to sell me some clean clothes cheap if I helped out on the farm. Hmm. Well, I don't have anything for you to do, but you can bring me and the boys something to drink. Fetch me a bottle of wine, and I'll tell Lobart you were a real help to us. <laughs> Here's your wine. Uh, better not ask where you got it from, huh? Uh, <laughs> uh, who cares? Uh, thanks, anyway. Lobart will only hear the best about you. How much for the work clothes? Well, we'll see. You've worked the field for me. You helped my wife. Vino says you were real help to him. You're not saying something. He doesn't usually hold with day laborers. Malith said you chased the bandits off. Bastards have caused us a lot of trouble. Thanks to you, we're rid of them. 30 gold pieces. It's not gonna get any cheaper. Give me the work clothes then. There's a chest in my house where you'll find clean things. But don't even think about taking anything else without asking. Have you got... I don't. You can ask my... Hey, you. Can you give me something to eat? You've had your port. Hey. Hey, you, come here. What is it? On your way to the city, and really busy, too. Listen, you look like a smart guy to me. I bet you'll go far in life. You're certainly nobody's fool. I could see that right away. Say, you'd probably like to earn a few gold coins, wouldn't you? Why not? You'll have to forgive an ignorant old seaman. I'm a stranger in these parts, and I don't really know all the rules. So I had to find out the hard way that traveling strangers aren't welcome in the harbor city. Now I'm standing here with no idea how I'm supposed to get into the city. I have some extremely important business to conduct, and my client won't tolerate a delay, you see. You'll help me find a way to get past the city guard, won't you? About the city guards? Yes, got an idea. What about bribery? Well, if that worked for me, I'd have tried it already.
You could get into the city as a herb gatherer. What? Do I look like I'd be picking flowers in the woods? I'll have to think about it first. All right, but hurry up about it. I've got no time to lose. Hey. About the city guards. Yes, got an idea. I have a pass for the city. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to act like I'm a citizen of the town or what? Take a look at me, boy. Nobody's going to believe that. They should let you pass if you're wearing these farmer's clothes. That's just what I need. Man, I know I could count on you. Nobody will bother me disguised as a local yokel. <laughs> Excellent. You did really well. Here's your promised reward. What? 50 measly gold coins? You can't be serious. Gold isn't everything, my friend. Take them for now. I have the feeling that we'll be seeing one another soon. And who knows, maybe I'll return the favor. Look after yourself. Only the citizens of the town and the king's troops can get into the upper end of the town. I'm telling you for the last time, one step farther and you'll be in a world of hurt. This way, nothing could exist at all. No light and no darkness. headed for the tavern. Yeah, that's what I would have said. But that isn't important, and that's why we can get straight down to business. Since you're new here, I'll make you an offer. You give me 50 gold pieces, and you can go. That's your entrance fee for the tavern. But I don't want to go to the tavern. You know, sooner or later, everyone wants to go into the tavern. So you can pay right now. Then you'll have it over with. Forget it. You won't get a single coin. 
Then I'll take everything you have. As soon as you're lying on the ground in front of me. must be crazy. What are you doing here? Did you swim here? <laughs> That's one way to get past the guards at the city gate. Hey, Laris, you old scoundrel. How did you get here? I was able to escape to the Valley of Mines just in time, together with Lee and some of the other boys. You remember Lee, don't you? Of course I remember Lee. I got out of the colony with him then just after the barrier was destroyed. He and his boys are now on the farm of Onar, the landowner. He made a deal with the farmer. He and his boys defend the farm, and Onar feeds them in return.
How? What is it? You aren't getting in here, my boy. Why not? Looking the way you do, you're sure to cause nothing but trouble here, boy. We got enough rabble in the city. We have no use for people without money. I need to see the leader of the Paladins. I've got an important message for him. Oh, and what important message might that be? The hosts of evil are camped in the Valley of Carinus. In the Valley of Mines? You come from there? Have you seen the army? No, but I know that it's led by dragons. Oh, sure. And my grandmother advises the orc generals. You don't think we'll let you carry an old wives' tale like that to Lord Hagen? Scram. I'm bringing some herbs for Constantino, the alchemist. Really? Then you won't mind showing me what you brought. Mmm, looks good. All right, in you go. But don't cause any trouble. Understood? Halt, stranger. I am Lothar, paladin of the king and humble servant of Innos, your lord. Our commander, Lord Hagen, has entrusted me with the task of explaining to all newcomers the new laws which apply to all inhabitants of the city. Since people have started simply vanishing all over this town, everyone needs to watch out that they don't suffer the same fate. got to go. Wait. You don't know the new laws of the city. Later. It's a bad business. What do you want? I'm not giving anything away. Can I sell you some herbs? If you have any to offer. Hey, you wait. Uh, you look familiar to me. What do you want? I've seen your face before somewhere, right? Here, we found this picture on some bandits we picked up a few days ago. It looks a lot like you. Apparently, those guys were looking for you. Gee, I'd never have thought of that myself. Very funny. What did those guys want from you? Ask them yourself. You've got them safely locked up, haven't you? No. They're dead. Or I guess we'll never know then. If you're in some kind of trouble, go talk to Lord Andre. Maybe he can help you. You'll find him in the barracks.
way. Thank you. 